Buenos dias, kindergartners. Hello, kindergartners. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Um, it's a cloudy day, but that's okay because we're all here together. And I have a question for you to start out today. Do you know what special class we usually do on Tuesdays? This is extra tricky for Miss Dean's class because Miss Dean's class has different ones than us. But in Miss Steiner's class, if you're in Miss Steiner's class, think, 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 what special class do we have on Tuesdays? Did you say music class? Because if you said music class, you were absolutely correct. Um, we have music usually on Tuesdays, but since we're not at school still, I thought maybe today we could warm up by singing. Some kids really love to sing, so we're going to get going with a song that I know you know. Um, but first, we have to warm up our voices. <clears throat> Can you repeat after me? <clears throat> Perfect. La. So, so, let's try this one. Okay, okay, now let's see. This time I want to hear Lydia. Lydia, si me estás escuchando, por favor, necesito tu ayuda. If you're listening to me, Lydia, I need your help. Ready? Repeat after me. La, 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 la. Awesome. Okay, so the song we're going to start today, before we even do our normal calendar song, we're going to sing this one. I think if your name is Lydia, Luis, Gumercindo, Juan, Tatiana, Ángel, todos ustedes creo ya conocen esta canción. All right, so maybe you can help me sing it. Ready? It goes like this. La vaca, Lola, la vaca. Lola tiene cabeza, tiene cola. Do you remember that song? Okay, we're gonna sing it two times, that same phrase, and then we're gonna go, y dice, como hacemos en la canción. So, sing along with me if you know my song, okay, ready? La vaca, Lola, la vaca, Lola tiene cabeza, tiene cola. La vaca Lola, la vaca Lola, tiene cabeza, tiene cola, y dice muuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
try this. Okay. Pero quiero que ustedes puedan ver. I want you to be able to see these words. This one says length. Say length. Mm, good one. Okay. How can I put these up so you can see? Length. This one says weight. Can you say weight? Nice. This one says capacity. Can you say capacity? Awesome. This one says temperature. Can you say temperature? So when I say length, what I need you guys to do is go like this. Length. Can we practice that? So I say length and you guys go length with your hands like this. When I say weight, you guys say weight and you drop down like you're holding something very heavy, okay? So go like this, wait. Nice, okay, good job. Um, when I say capacity, hold your arms out like you can put stuff in them because remember, capacity is how much something can hold, right? So go like this, good job. And then say capacity, awesome. This is our capacity word or our capacity movement. And then for temperature, we're just gonna pretend like we're freezing cold. We're gonna go temperature, temperature. So if I say length, what do you do? Nice, yes, you go like this and you say length. If I say temperature, what do you do? Mm -hmm, you go <laughs> temperature, like you're really, really cold. Maybe next week we can do it like this, like we're really hot. Um, when I say wait, what do you do? <gasps> like that, yeah, you say wait too. Good job. When I say capacity, that's the trickiest one, I think. What does capacity look like? It's like this. And then you see what you can fit inside. Capacity. Exactly. You go, or you could say it like a question. That's how I said it. Capacity? Because we're wondering how much can fit inside of this? That's why I made it a question word. So let's play one lightning round. We'll practice the next time, but then we got one more thing to do. Time is flying today, my friends. Um, all right, ready to get tricked. Let's see if I can get Luis. Luis, what motion do we do for temperature? You're right, you're right, great job. Temperature. Okay, so now let's see temperature. Good job, you guys. And now go capacity. Remember, capacity. Like that. Mm-hmm. And now go length. Length. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, capacity. Did I trick you? What do you do for capacity? Like this? Yep. Like you have a basketball hoop or something. Capacity. And then finally we have, based on we have, weight. What do you do for weight? Like you're holding something really heavy. Weight. Good work, kindergartners. We're going to keep studying these words. It's really, really hard. So I'm going to show you today's card. And the only thing I'm going to ask you is, do you think that today's card is measuring temperature? capacity, length, or weight. So I'm going to show you the card. I need you to be thinking really hard. This is a really tricky pattern, like I've said a couple times. Today is Tuesday, April 7th. And if you want to see today's card, I need you to clap three times. If you want to see today's card, I need you to spin around twice. If you want to see today's card, can you jump three times? Ready? One, two, three. All right. Good job. You guys are ready, I think. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I already peeked. I'm sorry, you guys. Today's card looks like this. Okay. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to look at it. So take 10 seconds. Think, think, think about what you're seeing. Does this measure 
temperature. Does this measure length? Does this tool measure capacity? Or does this tool measure weight? Think about it. Do you want to see those one more time so you have a little bit more processing time? Okay. So does this measure temperature? Does this measuring cup, it's full of grains. Is this telling us the temperature? Is this telling us how hot or cold it is? Is this measuring cup telling us length? Is it telling us how long the rice is? Is this measuring cup showing us capacity? Is it showing us how much rice can fit inside? Or is this one showing us weight? Is it showing us how much the rice weighs? Now, if you think like me, you know right away that there's no way this is measuring temperature, right? It's just rice in a cup. It can't be temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one away. That's not it. Could today's be measuring length? You know, I don't know about that because when we've talked about length before, if you remember, we've been using, look over there, our regla. We've been using a ruler to measure length. Does this look like a ruler to you? It doesn't look like one to me either. So I'm not going to say it's length. Do we think it could be, oh, capacity? Is the cup trying to figure out how much is in there? If you rem remember, this is kind of a clue. Our last one for capacity was a measuring spoon. Can you say spoon? This one is a measuring cup. Can you say cup? Good job. So do these tools seem kind of similar to you? A measuring spoon, a measuring cup? Mm -hmm. They tell us exactly how much is inside. We can fit. This one says one half that. Oh my gosh, that's another secret word. That secret word, kindergartners, this is a fourth grade word. This secret word that you see right here is a fraction. Can you just whisper fraction? It's a fraction. So a fraction shows that it can fit one half of a cup, not a whole cup, but a half of a cup of rice fits in here. That's telling us the capacity of this cup. I think we have our winner. I think today's card is showing us capacity. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing how long I'm talking today. Really quick, we'll review this tomorrow in Spanish, but I'm wondering, starting with 49, do you think we can try to count down in Spanish all the way to 30? I'll hold up my fingers to help you. So until we get to the zero, we're going to say 40 and then whatever number I'm holding up, okay? And then when we get to 30, the 30s, we'll say 39 and then 38 and then we'll say whatever number I'm holding up, okay? So we're going to start with 49, 48. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. All right, now let's go down to 30. You ready? 30. Nine, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty six, thirty five, thirty four, thirty three, thirty two, thirty one. 30. All right, give me a cha-cha-cha. We did it. We did it.
And now with that, we finished calendar. Sorry today was kind of a long one, but thank you so much for your hard work with me. I'll put all of these words back up on my wall and I'll see you tomorrow para calendario en español. All right, love you guys. See you tomorrow.